Hi guys, it's Jake Gordon here. Welcome to the, the 100K challenge, man. This, you know, I said I was going to do it um, and I stick by my word, you know, this is a zero to 100K challenge. And um, for those of you who are probably clicking this and thinking, you know, what's this guy talking about? Pretty much, uh, you know, this is a Google Google Ads, Shopify, e-commerce, dropshipping channel. Um, and a dude challenged me, he said, you know, Jake, do a zero to 1K challenge. That's hilarious, but it's too easy, right? So. I'm documenting the store from absolute scratch and um, from absolute scratch, I literally just got approved from the Merchant Center um, today. So we're starting the ads today, we're starting everything today. The goal is to do this 100K by the way, and um, you know, under three months, but <laughs> you know, it may happen, it may not happen, but it's close to possible. Um, you know, 100K GBP or maybe 100K USD might be more attainable, whatever. And um, I think that's 85K uh, GBP, okay? But yeah, so this is this is a challenge, man, and this is you know it's a it's a benchmark challenge. I see a lot of dudes on you know kind of Shopify gurus, and um, don't like using that word, but we're all gurus. I guess I'm a guru now as well. <laughs> you know, as what it is, right? So I see a lot of these dudes do like a one week Shopify dropshipping challenge, and yeah, some of them do get some sales. Like they might make like a couple of grand in revenue, but like nobody documents the whole process. They show some screenshots. They're not going to show you the profit. They're not going to they're going to tell you the profit, but they're not going to break it down, man. Like they're just not. They're going to like make themselves feel better. They might lose money. They might make some money, which is awesome. But nine times out of 10, nobody's showing you the real kind of stuff. So this is going to be the first ever thing you've probably seen like for somebody actually go through step by step and shows pretty much everything. The only thing I'm not going to show right now at this stage is obviously the store because I'm trying to actually make some serious money. Like this is this is actually going to be a source of income for me for the next three months. And um, obviously I've got a bunch more stores, I've got clients, you know, I'm making really good money right now, to be honest with you. And you know, a lot of you dudes obviously know that, but this is a fun challenge, but it's also a serious challenge because we're putting, you know, my my real money at stake, you know? And we're also putting the reputation at stake because if this flops, like, <laughs> we're probably gonna have to delete the channel. It's gonna be that embarrassing. But, you know, I'm sure that won't happen. Anyways, so, just gonna go over a couple of things, you know, if you're brand new, you know, to Google Ads dropshipping and you want to get into it, you know, you should probably stick along, subscribe, share, and um, like it for sure. But I'm going to show you, give you a little, you know, everything to how you get approved and um, to how, you know, you want to get to the Google Ads stage. Because it's not just like Facebook ads, you have to be compliant, you have to get some stuff all the way. It takes a little bit of time and um, you can't just turn on the machine, but we'll go through it. So you can see this is a brand new store. Like I said, and what, you, what a lot of people are going to say, well, probably one of people say is like, why does it say Mel and why does it not say Jake Gordon? Mainly because I have so many other stores. And another reason is, you know, I want to use Shopify Pay right off the bat. I'm kind of blacklisted from Shopify Pay, I'm not going to lie to you, just because of I've used AliExpress in the past and for, you know, drop shipping. And, you know, if you really do that more than three times, get three, three Shop, Shop Pay accounts burned in your name, your bank details and your address, they really don't want to work with you anymore. So I don't want any of that issues. I could go down the line of getting approved for another WorldPay account. Um, I just don't want to wait two, three weeks to get approved. And I really don't want another WorldPay account just for a pump and dump store because this store is probably going to be done in three months. It might be done for six months, absolute maximum. So I really don't want to go down the hassle of getting documents sent away and all that kind of stuff. I'm just going to run out of my girlfriend's name, but just in case, you know, one out of a hundred will ask, why is it saying Melanie McLean? It's my girlfriend's name, I'm using her. I'm using her name, right, to get approved, all that kind of stuff. And we're already approved, by the way, so I'm good to go for taking payments. So that's the only reason. I know a lot of dudes will ask, well, this isn't Jake, who is this? Um, it's my girlfriend, but you can see here, it's a brand new store, right? There's no fluff here, whatever, okay? Second page. So I'm, I've got some pages loaded up at the top. Editor's probably bore, going to borrow them up, but, you know, just in a nutshell, this is what you're going to need to get approved on Google Ads. You're going to need an About Us page. Um, probably don't think you do, but just put it in there. So have them, um, you know, about us page, just go Google, Google this stuff if you don't know what to put. You're going to need to contact us page primarily with a phone number or an email address or an address. And um, so two out of three is fine. A lot of people say you need three out of three, you really don't, you just need two out of three. So have a phone number. Don't even need to make a real phone number to be honest with you, dude. So like just have a burner phone, like whatever, just have a number. Um, Cause you're going to need that to get approved. And the email address is pretty simple. Just have the email the store's email address, right? You wanna have that anyways if the customer wants to get in contact with you. So make, that's the most important thing, by the way. If you don't have that, you're gonna get disapproved. Frequently asked questions, Google that. If you don't know what to put for that, super simple. Just copy and paste, privacy policy, need that, refunds, blah, blah, blah. Shipping information, this is kind of new. Um, we wanna put that just in case, just so you can get guaranteed to get approved. Terms of service, just Google this if you don't wanna find out. Track shipment, that's a new thing as well. I've just added this. I'm not good at my other stores, but obviously I just got this store approved. So Google has been super strict 
and with the policies. So you want to make sure you have these pages. You want to give them more than rather than give them less, right? Just so you can, you know, be guaranteed you're going to get approved. So that's all the pages, and you just want to put them in your footer um, on your on your store, right? So just put them in your footer. So uh, Google can go and crawl your site, make sure you're compliant. It's super easy. This is the products I'm going to be running. So I think there's about 30 products and um, 60 variants in total. So this is all going to be blurred, by the way. But these are the products I'm going to be running for the store. How did I find these? In a nutshell, I'm just copying what's working exactly like I teach. I did make a lot of changes on these um, and I made them better. So if I found people ranking on certain keywords and certain products, I go into their landing page and I just make it a little bit better, you know, and I can always improve, right? So I'm going to try and blow these dudes off the bat. Um, and see what ones I can get sticking in the campaign and scale and what ones I'm going to cut. Because not, you know, I know like a lot of these aren't going to be winners, but I know I only need two or three to stick to hit that 100k. So not crazy, crazy store. It's just a, you know, 20 to 30 kind of general store, mini general store. Um, and that's the kind of niche that I chose. So I'm going to be running these products. This is the only app I've got. So it's a feed for Google shopping. I am going to add a Clavio software in. I am going to add an SMS bump in. Um, I might add Sweet Upsell or Zipify and Upsell, but right off the bat, I'm not going to, I'm not going to add any of these, you know, paid apps until I get it working, right? So I really want to get it profitable with cold ads, completely cold ads, shopping ads to be precise, off the bat, and then I'm going to add these other stuff that's going to bring me more revenue and more profit. But you know, a lot of people have like a hundred apps. You can see I've literally got one app, and I need this app to be, <laughs> to be compliant for Google Shopping because this is the feed. Um, that talks to the merchant center and gets you those approved. So don't need don't need 100 apps as I'm going to prove to you. This is the store. Um, this is all going to be blurred, so it's probably not showing you this, but I'll show you exactly what theme I'm using. So this is the Beauty by theme. I've never used this theme before, dudes. Um, got recommended to it by one of my one of my guys. He was he's using it a lot. Um, he's a big big hitter. Um, I mean, he makes a lot of revenue to be honest. So that's what I mean. Um, so he's using the Beauty by theme. It's absolutely free. Um, I've never really liked it that much, but I've slapped it on, um, it's a free theme, you don't need to buy any of this crap, don't buy it, it's not worth it, just grab the free theme. Um, it's super actually nice, it loads super fast. All I've changed on, on the debut by theme is I've took up the share buttons on the product page and I've obviously made like a nice home page. Bar from that, I've just slapped the same kind of purple colors that it comes with um, and I'm just gonna let it run. Usually I use Empire, but you know, I'm gonna try out this theme man and just see if this would make a difference. So obviously it will, it might make a difference in a bad way or a good way. But, you know, I'm just going to try a new theme and I really like how fast it loads and it looks super good. This is a merchant center. So as I said before, you know, this is this is where you need to get approved, right? So you can see up the top, I've got 61 active items. Like I said, I just got started getting approved yesterday and I just got fully approved this morning. So you can see how long it takes, dude. It's like, it's took me a good week to get approved and um, five working days. So it's not a thing where you can just run ads. You need to get approved. And because what I said before is Shopify, and Google are going to crawl these pages. So it's super important you have all this ready before you go through this. I'm not going to make a video on how to set this up, by the way, because it's so boring. Like if you want to find out, there's plenty of other videos on YouTube. I'm not just going to be one of these boring channels, like where you just show you how to set up stuff. You know, if you want to do that, go and find it from somewhere else. It just takes too long and I can't be bothered. But once you're approved, you should see something like this. Um, just show you real quick. All these are going to be blurred as well, but you know, these are the products and you can see they're active for shopping ads. That's what you want because we're going to be doing shopping ads off the bat. Um, here's the brand new Google Ads account. So the good thing about this dude is I'm going to launch this general test campaign right in front of you live and um, show the exact settings I use. Um, and we'll do that pretty much in one second once I go over one more tab and we'll come back to this. So this is the bit that I'm talking about dudes. Like, a lot of these videos on YouTube, man, they, they don't show you this. So this is like a legitimate spreadsheet for a legitimate business, right? And um, it's got surveys and all that at the top. This was taken from a, a course, which is pretty much how we sell like online courses. So we're going, we're not going to use this kind of stuff. We're all obviously just going to use the ad spend, the impressions, the clicks. And we're just taking this stuff from the campaign, by the way. The revenue is the, the Shopify sales, the cash is the net takeaway, the Shopify goods, the units is how many sales we got and everything in gray and will automatically populate for you. So nobody's doing this kind of stuff. I don't know why, like are people paying their taxes? Probably not when they're doing this e-com game, it's hilarious. Um, but what I'm trying to say to you is, you know, nobody's showing you their net number. So even I've got it on the bottom, like minus 30% fee. So nobody takes away this kind of stuff. It sounds, 
sounds crazy to me like all these dudes are talking about all this revenue but it doesn't mean shit because it can't show you like a simple spreadsheet so throughout the, the three month challenge we're going to have every day tracked right every day tracked. so i'm losing a bunch of money you're going to see because this is going to be negative you're going to see how much money i'm losing how much money i'm making so everything is 100 percent legitimate what i will say is like i said we're in august right now it is august 18th by the time i launch the campaign i'm pretty much going to start from you know september 1st this is when we technically will be started i'm going to try and break even for the last week the week and a bit that we have so usually when you launch cold ads of any platform your goal is to try and break even the first week you might be profitable and probably you're going to be negative but after that you know that's when the campaign should start optimizing that's when we should make some good money hopefully um but yeah so the first week and a week and a bit you know I'm not really counting it, but I'm still going to count the losses if it makes a loss. But what I really say is like when zero to 100K is going to be September, October and the end of November when we're going to be starting from. So this is a spreadsheet. I'll show you this every time I make a video in this store. I'll show you it. Like, don't worry, I'll show you exactly where I am. And you're going to see if I'm losing money. Like I said, in this column, this is the net, net, net. Or if I'm, you know, making money. Simple as that. Okay. So campaign, we're going to do this live. And um, all products test campaign to test all these. 61 variants that we've got and um, like i said we've got about 20 30 products but you know each different color or size will count as a, a different you know variant in google so google treats these like different products but yeah let's just go over it real quick so we're going to go a new campaign and i'm not going to go over this you know in detail because it's pretty simple we're going to go for sales like i said we will use search hopefully at the end but right now we're going for shopping if you do this right Edit our blur result, please. Um, but you should link with the correct merchant number, which mine has done. I'm going to go for standard shopping. I never miss with smart shopping. It won't let me do it right now. Um, but, you know, you really need some conversion to get it going. But I still never mess with it. I don't bother with it. Anyways, we're going to continue on this. And what we should have is a page when it loads. Yep, so enter the campaign name, like I said. It's going to be an all products test. You can call this whatever you want. I just always call it all products test because that's exactly what it is. Um, bidding is super important. A lot of people stress over this. Don't stress over that much. Just go for maximize clicks. Play built manual CPC and target rollers eventually as we get more conversions. Um, but maximize clicks because you want clicks coming the fastest um, possible. That's just what we do. Um, CBC, don't leave this blank or you're going to, like I've seen dudes like leave this blank and get like one pound, two pound bids, which is never going to be profitable, right? It's super, it's impossible, right? So I'm going to go super low. Like I said, I'm not trying to steal this up at the start, super fast. As the end, I might increase this to come, get sales coming in faster and faster and faster. But I always start with a super low bid. Right now I'm going lower than usual. Usually I go 0 0.28 pence, which is about 0 0.35 cents if you're in USA. I'm going super low at 0 0.24 today. And Probably going to take a while for impressions and all that to kick in, which it will, just because it's a super low bid. But I want it to start off slow and steady and, you know, keep it going. Budget's going to be £20 a day. Like I said, it's not going to spend £20 a day. It probably won't spend that for, you know, two or three weeks to fill a day. It might, it might not. It just depends how fast I rank. I want it to spend, obviously, but it's not like Facebook where you, you put a budget of, like, £20 and you're getting that rent immediately. It's not like that. Google. You're only spending per click. So if you get a bunch of impressions and no clicks, you're going to spend zero, which is obviously nice, but you want it to spend as well. So campaign party, go medium. Turn these off. If you leave these on, you're going to waste a lot of ad spend, in my opinion. I've never been profitable with these being on. United Kingdom, that's where we're targeting, by the way, I probably should have said. So I'm just targeting UK. Location options, you always want to choose the second one, dudes. Like, you don't want to leave this one on, um, literally because if you read it, it says people in or show interest in. So that means somebody in like Russia or somebody in like Spain or France could show interest in and see my ads. But nine times out of 10, I'm not going to be able to find a fulfillment that ships to Russia. Uh, I might find one that's shipped to Spain, but I really don't want, I really don't want that, um, that hassle. So people in or regular in, you know, they're probably going to have a UK postcode. So that's what I'm choosing. It's good. Just leave this one on the top. Save and continue. Product shopping because we're advertising each product as a several, um, a single product on the, the Google shopping feed, right? If we're doing showcase shopping, I've never done it. Um, it's more for like big brands, um, to be honest, that have like a bunch of collections and a specific niche. I'm just keeping mine super simple. I recommend you do the same. Call the ad group the same, all products test. Save that. And that's the last step. So what we'll do is we'll check it and make sure it's working and make sure everything's good to go. I'll always like to change some columns as well. And I'll show you what I mean, just so I can see the conversions. And cost per conversion means how much does it cost me to get that sale. So I want to see exactly because that's super important to see if it's profitable. 
Um, but yeah, you can see here they're ready to go. We've got 61, I'll make them bigger. Yep, yeah, so 10061. So we've got our 61 variants ready to go. Like our campaign is live, ready to serve. So in a nutshell, that's how I set up my all products test campaign. Very basic. There's nothing fancy about it. You don't need to complicate it. And um, that's exactly how I set it up with those settings. And I think that's it for this video, dudes. Like if you, you know, this is going to be a crazy challenge. Like I said, you know, there's a lot on the line here. <laughs> if it fails, it fails. If it goes good, it goes good. Um, but, you know, I'm just replicating exactly what I've done for years, right? So I really don't see how it can go that bad. Um, because I'm just copying and pasting what I've done for years and every time you know, on Google Shopping it's primarily worked and I made a, a shit ton of money, right? So that's exactly what we're going to try and do here but this time we're going to document it to show that there's no fluff in this channel, there's no BS, you know, this is absolutely live. So probably going to do a video like every three or four days with an update. Obviously I don't expect too much like within the next two weeks so it's probably going to be pretty boring for the next two or three videos but you never know, something could happen, something could not happen, but I don't expect it. Really, you want to be, you know, following this as we start, you know, September, October, November, that's when I expect sales to come in. Um, I do expect to add maybe some more products, um, probably going to add up to 10 or 20 more variants, so maybe five or six more products, um, but I'm just going to launch this right now and just let it stick. What a lot of people do is, and what I will say is, like, you don't need to touch this, like, don't check this tomorrow, you don't need to check this, because takes a while for Google to get going. Um, it's not like Facebook where you're, boom. It takes a while, it's going to take a brand new ad account, it's going to take me a while to, you know, start ranking, start everything, um, get it going. But yeah, dudes, you know, this is the challenge, zero to 100K, so September, October, November. Um, and yeah, dudes, this is exactly it. So please like, please follow, please share it to your friends. Like if people are trying to get into Google Ads, you should definitely share this with your friends, just because, you know, this is going to be step by step. There's no fluff here, like I said. Everything's documented. We're going to show you as much as I can. And yeah, dudes, I'll see you in the next video for, you know, the second update. Peace out.